Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and before I put this in my system, I wanted to show it to you and show you what it looks like. Obviously, you could probably see it online. Uh, if you could see this clear here, uh, this is the packaging for the SQRL uh, Acorn CLE215+. Plus. Now, there's still uh, some development going on on the software side. Uh, some testing has been getting done, some alpha testing. Uh, don't have anything finalized yet but it's in the in progress and obviously this is what early adopters is is all about right so we test out uh we report back to the devs report back to the teams and then uh that feedback gets turned into progress and then we you know go back and forth but here's the hardware aspect of it so as you can see we got some branding on the side if you can see it it's kind of got this brushed aluminum feel to it uh and if you think mini asic that's what it reminds me of it's a mini ASIC and there's a little blower fan right here and if you look really close let's see if I can show it to you so you can see the copper heat pipe and then there's a copper plate at the bottom so they're using copper to cool the actual chip which is right there um, and this is a BCU 1525 kind of condensed form but it is a normal M.2. There's also some I.O. right back here that you can connect to. Uh, I don't know much. I don't know. I'm not as knowledgeable with FPGA, so I'm not going to say anything on that. Uh, but this does fit into a normal M.2 slot. My concern, even though the website has it now, my concern when I first ordered it was the width. Because uh, the motherboard that I have and the motherboard I had before, the Z270 Tachi and now the Z390 Tachi, the M.2 port is right there next to the graphics card. And so my worry was the width was going to bump up the cooler or whatever, was going to bump up against the, the graphics card uh, and cause an issue. But that's not the case for this. So if you look on the side, I'm not going to do a teardown. Unfortunately, I'm not going to risk uh, bricking this device or ruining this device. But there's two screws on this side and two screws on this side. There is a fan wire as you can see that I don't know what's holding it down and so if I try to take this apart I don't want to rip the fan wire and then be SOL so I'm just not going to risk it but there is the that's what the squirrel acorn looks like in person uh, I mean this is as close to person as I can get for you guys uh, I still need to install it test it uh, work with uh, the team in the community to try to optimize and, and try to get any results to them uh, which I will be doing in the future. Uh, packaging wise, it just comes in this box. So the acorn just kind of sits in here nice and secure. And then you get a little card with it with some branding. And then the get started at um, packaging. And that's pretty much it. And their, their, their team is in Ohio. Uh, their team is wonderful. I mean, I haven't been as... Uh, open or excuse me i've been too busy to be communicating with the fpga discord uh gpo hoarder david has been absolutely wonderful and his team has been wonderful in, in keeping up with supply and demand there were some delays there on the manufacturing side and no matter what delays they had from this part of that part of that company this company they've been really up to up to up to par i mean if if there was a delay we knew about it if there was an update we knew about it um, I can't thank uh, Aaron R, my silent hero, uh, Aaron R on the customer support side, keeping me updated, letting me know what's going on, uh, making sure everything was correct, fixing an order, goof on my end. Uh, they've just been absolutely amazing and transparent and open with me. Uh, and honestly, from my feedback or what I hear in the community, they have been as well. So uh, thank a big shout out to them and thank you know thank you guys. Uh, now moving forward, I wanted to show you, I mean, we, we've seen this website before, right? So squirrelresearch.com is their website. If you haven't seen their website, this is what it is. Squirrel Research or SQRL um, is selling multiple products, not just Acorns. Uh, Acorns are M.2 devices that would essentially 
go into your M.2 slots or M.2 expansion cards and you, you not just any expansion card you might want to get the expansion card uh, from a trusted vendor or one that is, is adequate for the job because you're gonna need some bandwidth for it and most uh, M.2 risers uh, can't support that bandwidth or, or that kind of performance so uh, you know pay attention to the specs and what is required but if you go to squirrelresearch.com uh, you can you know do all the basic abouts but here's the list of products which I'm gonna go into here in just a moment uh, their products we got the CL, CLE 101 which is starting at you know 200 bucks CLE 215 CLE 215 plus and then these are their expansion cards that I was talking about so the X2G is where you can run two M.2 acorns on it the the four you know obviously four and then this is where the main bread and butter is, or, or most of the bulk of what SQRL is focusing on and, and minority, is FPGAs. They got the BCU 1525. Um, I'm not gonna say that, like, look at this liquid cooled FPGA. That's, that's just sick. Of course, it's up there in price, but uh, with the correct bit streams and development, you can basically recode an FPGA to do whatever you need it to not just mine a currency yeah you can recode it like if you're if you're good at hashing one algorithm and then that algorithm becomes stale or or is no longer bull, uh, profitable for you you can technically recode or develop a bit stream or, or get help developing a bit stream for a different algorithm but i am no expert which is why i talk to the community and we we get feedback from each other this is how this connector you can connect multiple fpgas together and then they have their own SQRL risers, which I prefer, uh, honestly. Um, besides that, you know, check out their website, scrollresearch.com. Just wanted to show you the CL215+. Uh, this is basically what I got. Back when I got it, it was only Lyra 2 and X16R uh, when I first got the, the batch file. Or got, not batch file, that's what we use for mining, but when I first... Uh, got into the batch to get you know an early sample. I knew there was going to be delays I knew I wasn't going to get it on the time that um, was represented But that's to be expected with new technology, but these guys have been abundantly transparent open Communicating all the time giving us updates. So I honestly can't fault them for that I knew new technology and and getting uh, acquisitions from manufacturers uh, or certain products or certain uh, components was going to be a pain so I'm not going to fault them for that. Uh, basically, an Acorn is, a, is the, you know, the first ever cryptocurrency mining accelerator card using the best in class, which is, uh, I, don't forgive me if I say this wrong, is either Xilinx or Xilinx. I probably killed it. My apologies. FPGA chips and an M.2 slot. Acorn CLE 215 Plus does everything uh, that the, the normal uh, 215 does. While providing a 30% FPGA speed boost, this is significantly increase has it increases hash rates for algorithms like X16R or Layer 2 Revision 2, and enables standalone mining, which is pretty neat. So standalone mining, mine by itself or combined with GPU. Uh, of course, they got the sizing and everything, and they even have a chart here at the bottom um, for you know boosting up certain graphics cards. Now, of course, these numbers are still in development uh, this is just estimated and as we continue to uh, provide feedback and the devs continue to improve uh, then the numbers will possibly go up but uh, there's still a lot of testing going on uh, still a lot of testing I gotta do myself so look for future content about that I just wanted to showcase you the the hardware that's pretty much it show you how it looks um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it in my system I got a lot of things coming down the pipeline, but bear with me. I'm a full-time father, a full-time employee, full-time husband. Um, everything from a review on the 9900K, I know I'm late. I didn't get my sample too late. A review on the Z390 Tachi Ultimate Board. Um, uh, I did some testing on the RTX off, RTX on uh, with Battlefield 5. Honestly, I've just been playing Battlefield 5 while I got the chance. Uh, but I did my review and, and there should be some content in the future about that. But again, uh, it's the holidays. I'm backed up. I'm busy. Family stuff, work stuff. So just bear with me. I'll try to release content uh, in the future about that. Other than that, uh, definitely give uh, squirrelresearch.com a, uh, a look. 
see if it's something you're interested in I know profitability is down right now considering the market and uh, the currency but this is just a swing it doesn't matter if you're not into crypto we all know that blockchain technology is not going anywhere just what that blockchain technology and how it's going to be implemented in a real world scenario uh, is really what's going to be the game changer for us and there's been plenty of currencies or blockchain uh, developments that have been uh, proven to have real world implementation we just we're just at the beginning stages of all of this crypto so uh, bear with it good luck to you um, hopefully you're staying in the game if you're not it's all good um, I'm sure you you uh, found something to increase your profitability in some form or fashion or, or bring ROI back into your investment but uh, that's all I pretty much got for today guys uh, thanks for watching like share su subscribe and comment below I can't freaking talk today uh, it's been a busy day at work but um, yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one and uh, the link is going to be in the description to the squirrelresearch.com website take care guys